front are the, called the frontal dudes. Look at this beautiful specimen here. It's American beach grass. With its roots, it holds the sand and helps build up, up helps build up the dunes in the back behind me. It's so green and lush. Photosynthesis takes place in every leaf. Whoa! These are sea oats. Look how beautiful they are. They're throughout the dune. They have little seeds on them. See? They look like oatmeal. If you had oatmeal that grew on a plant, it would look like. Look at all these little seeds. They're so interesting. <laughs> they don't taste very good though. But that is all. <laughs> this area from here, right around here, is dead. Due to the loss of these plants, the, causing the loss of the roots, the sand sediment has eroded downward and is losing the dune area. Right here is a sea elder. I think it died at the funeral home last night. And then over here, this little plant, I don't know, you might want to zoom in, sand spurs. Got them all up my butt right now, it's not very nice. And then over here, the broom straw brush. Right, broom straw brush. It looks like a broom. It looks like a sweet. I'm here with Doug to ask him what he thinks about the major, one of the major problems of the dunes are. Um, I think that one of the major problems is that littering, I think just because it's not on the beach, people feel like they can throw trash on it without having it go into the ocean or disrupt the uh, natural environment. Thank you. No worries. Ghost crabs, also known as sand crabs, live in these holes right here. They usually come out at night but sometimes they will come out in the day. Let's see if we can get this one to come out today. I will knock on the door to see if it's home. Knock, knock. He is not home. Luckily, my finger would have gotten cut off. But moving on, here are some tracks to the sand dunes, to the ghost crabs. This is a digger wasp hole. Wasps you may know as the things that sting you. But this one buries itself in the sand with, as its home and comes out and flies to cool itself off. Look at squirts camouflage to blend in with the sand. You can barely see him from far away. Luckily, we found him before he, we, he found us. Look at this hole. It is massive in size. Massive. <laughs> Hurt really bad. <laughs> this was one of Doug's major problems that he stated. Littering. Respect the pouch. Respect it! I'm going to do my civic duty and throw away this trash that I found in the frontal dunes. Watch me as I go. the back dunes we go come on all of this all the following has been in the frontal dunes now let's go and see the back dunes whoops this is the back dunes consisting of broom straw brush covering miles and miles in every direction You may notice there are some trees in the background. The back dunes consist of trees 
larger bushes, and broom straw vash. Look at these feces. It could be any wildlife. It could be from any animal. But I think it's dog poop.